Hello everybody, Peter here with goodyreader.com, fulfilling another request in this video. The request was, what does the PDF experience look like on a Windows phone? So we have here gotten a Nokia Lumia 520 to show you guys. It is running Windows. We're going to open up PDF Viewer. And we're just going to go through a comic book, which is very image heavy, lots of colors, and a newspaper, which is very text heavy, and not so many colors involved. So we're just going to show you the differences between the two and give you guys an in-depth look in both portrait and landscape of what PDFs look like on Windows Phone. So we're going to open up a comic book first. Try not to talk too much in this particular video, because it's mostly about showing you guys what would happen if you're reading this comic. Comics look good in portrait, of course. There's no guided view or panel view, so double tapping really does nothing. You have to pinch and zoom to really see what's going on. Tapping gives you some settings. So we can go to settings. This is kind of a weird setting this particular app has. Invert colors. So we can go back and everything will be in negative. Very weird, very useless. Maybe good for an ebook to create that kind of night mode, but otherwise pretty useless. A couple other settings are orientation lock, rate and review, and jump to. Jump to will give you the um, kind of like contents here. It's not as good as uh, most PDF viewers where you'd tap in the middle and you get those thumbnails with the slider bar, but it'll get the job done. This is what it looks like in landscape, obviously very horrible. You will need to pinch and zoom in landscape mode to see anything at all. The only advantage is you get a little bit more width on the screen, but that's as far as it goes. Comics always look better in portrait mode than they do in landscape mode. So this has been the comic experience. Nothing really to write home about. Next thing we're going to look at is same app. We're going to look at a newspaper instead world newspaper. So this one has a little bit of color but mostly it's text heavy. That's why we chose it. So this is what it's going to look like on this phone. Pinching and zooming, no problem. You'll be able to read that with ease. There's no reflow, there's no double tapping, there's no long pressing for notes, nothing like that. Very simplistic. And also there are not a lot of apps to choose from on the Windows Store because they don't really have a lot of apps to begin with and in terms of PDF, I think there's one or two called PDF Viewer, and that's pretty much about it. We have settings, same kind of thing, open other documents, a very strange night mode. Works better on a newspaper, definitely, than it does on a comic book. It's not particularly labeled night mode, but it is invert colors. Now we'll switch it to landscape and show you guys what it looks like there. So it's not too bad, it's very readable. Windows handles it all right, I suppose. Of course, newspapers, magazines, and comic books look better in portrait mode than they do in landscape. So hopefully, next time you guys have some comments about what the PDF reading experience looks like on Windows phones, you guys can refer to this video. And uh, keep the requests coming. We're always fielding requests all the time. Um, we look at your guys' comments. We scour all of our videos to make sure everyone's questions are answered. And if someone says, hey, can you see if this works on this particular device and this works on this, we will be more than happy to do as many videos as we can to answer all of the questions we can. And we feel doing a video is a lot more, obviously, visually um, supportive and useful than just giving you a little reply saying, oh yes you can, you know, we'd like to really show you in depth how this works and yes you can do it and this is particularly, you know, how you do it. So we love f fulfilling requests and you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader to make a request on our on videos. Just make a comment and we'll get around to it when we can. And for more information on the world of e-readers, tablets, and digital publishing, you can go to our 
uh, news publication at goodyreader.com slash blog. And for Goody Reader and a PDF experience on Windows 8 operating system, have a great day.